I said. I was trembling, I was sweating, and my sweaty hands reached for the pen that was laying before me as my teacher slowly approached me with this evil smile on her face. She handed me over her papers, and I knew that very moment that I was going to die. You see, that was my physics exam from last year. And if there's one thing you should know about me, then it's I suck at physics, or actually any science in particular. Now, it was a very demotivating year because every time I did those science exams, it was always the same thing. You are too dumb. You have no intelligence. And you know how every teenager with some hormones in his body reacts. You know, he gets depressed. And I was depressed because I just kept trying and somehow it just wouldn't work. Every time I got this bad grade on my report and it was always the same, you have no future. But then, suddenly, a holy light appeared. Angels sang and there it was. English. Yes, English, it was that simple. There was just one course that gave me hope, English. My teacher wasn't evil at all. You know, she was a lovely lady. And she gave me that confidence because I could speak it, I could write it, I was actually good at it. And it was so awesome. You know, English was even that awesome that I got into the BBC finals Two times, but I don't want to brag or anything, just, uh, yeah. No, it was really great. That it, was, it was great to finally have this confidence, like, you can do something, you're good at it, you actually have intelligence. But I still had to go through that year, I still had to pass my physics exams, so what did I do? Well, I learned, I practiced, I made every exercise again so I could finish that exam and just throw it into my teacher's face and say, you see, I have a future, I can achieve something. And I did. I got 50% on physics, but I also got 90% on my English. So ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter if you're the best at math or get a P PhD in something I can't even pronounce, but as long as you keep trying and know what you're good at, that's what I call intelligence. Thank you.